and gentlemen, how you guys doing, man? It's another episode of Mr. J's Reaction. Thank you for coming through. You guys good, man? Yo, it's always a pleasure to have you check out anything that I have to drop, man. Hey, if this is your first time seeing this face, they call me Mr. J, man. AKA Kwame Boya, Bum Boya, Dave Kuli, you don't go walking, yes, Kriyo Boy, man. Look at that. Bazinga, man. Mano Tasha will be back in the building. You guys good? We gonna keep talking about see the guy, man. Yo, this album is dope, know what I mean? Shout out to the big boss, man. We got boss one there. Kia Kwanu. Yeah, we gonna talk about Gen Z right now, man. You guys know what Gen Z are, man. I'm not even gonna talk so much, but before we get started, do the right thing, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, man. Let's back it up and get started. Let's talk about these Gen Zs, man. If you are below 25 years old, your ass is Gen Z. Man, I can't even go up to 28. You a Gen Z. Chavo, respect us. Red car, Canada, I want a Gen Z. No string, baggy jeans, I'm a Gen Z. Don't get massacred, they blame it on Gen Z. BBC, change government, Gen Z. BBC, to change the government, they blame it on Gen Z. Don't get massacred, Gen Z. Everything bad is Gen Z. Ring knows everything, Gen Z. You keep blaming us. All these old ass politicians around Africa, man. Get your ass out of that place and be a grandpa, man, or you die and let the youth take over. Z, BBC, change government, Gen Z. We don't say we get brain talk, Gen Z. Every small fight, they go talk, say not Gen Z. Why? We don't drag politicians, not Gen Z. Police know they carry IC, Gen Z. Oh, man. This is why they keep leaving Africa. Yes, because these old heads keep staying in power and they don't get it that the youths, you know, people graduate from university, no jobs. But you have an old ass person click. It's crazy now. I don't even want to get to talk about this oldness. But everything to blame it on Gen Z. Let me go back. Everything is Gen Z, man. It's crazy. If you talk, we talk back Gen Z. You slap, we go slap back Gen Z. You see him with a laptop, pull him up. He's a criminal. See, there was a there was a task for man, the SARS in Nigeria, and they don't even want to see any person with anything. See, a true artist has to be a representation of his people. This man is talking about issues that affects youth in Nigeria. This is powerful. I mean, big up to the film as we come through. Pull up in the green car like Gen Z, old school Volvo Gen Z. We want to make money now, now, Gen Z. Of course, it's becoming an epidemic in Nigeria where you see youths get involved in funny type of things just to make money. Quick, quick, sharp, sharp. But politics and twist this issue around me. Ah, we don't get respect. We don't talk their mind. I'm a Gen Z. They see Nigerian youth. Every time they want to persecute. In a new way, they want to electrocute. My name now you kill and I know they punk you. My name now you kill and I know they punk you. Who is she? She nice. Nigerian youth, anything is me. What we talk about here is me. Anything that goes on in society is me. But the old heads are not even seeing that. It's because they are staying in power that we, the youth, are reacting. If you don't want to give them jobs, they're going to do whatever it is to, to get paper. You feel me? Yes, of course. But then, this is a debatable topic right here that he's touching. Debatable one, but I like the way she's delivered. Though. You can run, I know they bumped you. I'm on the Gucci Gucci, far from all, and the Fenty. I want everything good, everything that you stole from me, everything that the top old ass politicians steal from us, our resources, they give you money to build roads, schools, hospitals, you take it and you keep it in foreign banks, you drive in flashy cars, get all these people, I want all of those things too. You dig, I want it. Think about it, powerful man, think about that issue. Hey, This lady spit, and I like the way she's taking it. You dig, but if you check my nose ring, you know I need to play bowling in the club. I want that life. 
But guess what? They always put the blame on us. And I mean, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. I like her delivery. Who is she? Why you come to vex about my hustle? Why you come to vex about what I'm trying to do to feed myself? Why you come to vex about everything I'm trying to do to survive this mess, this asshole? Who the drag politician a Gen Z? Of course, politicians will always blame it on the youth, everything, but then still, still the youth's resources. You gotta break that yoke, man. Welcome to the Gen Z order where everything else you know is obsolete and I'm the chief consulate. See, he just went in like after the hook, he just went in. I was thinking that he was gonna breathe, but no, my man just. Obsolete and I'm the chief consulate. We did question status quo. After gang rock stars like the Ladi Po. Mm. Radical from the logs to the toes. We just wanna know if you're a friend of all. What? We question the status quo. You always have to question the status quo. A country where the youth do not question the status quo, especially in Cameroon. That's why we have the mess that we have going on. But we just want to know if your friend will forward to us. The youth of a country is the, is the brain and the power of that country. But it seems as if they subdued <laughs> those in my country. Wanna know if you're a friend of all, what? I guess the latter still on the matter. Bastard politicians are getting fatter. We coming out, you know, so we go scatter. Sky don't change color, you don't wake up, we go drag you. Sky don't change, the use are waking up. You guys know we coming for that ish. I like my Nigerians because they don't take, they don't play. They don't take that BS. They manifest, you know, they let you know. But see, we coming. You dig? The moment that the youth in Africa gonna wake up, all these old puppets around Africa, they gonna, they gonna skedaddles, they gonna run. Trust me, and we need to wake up, African youth, we need to wake up for real, man. Don't change color, you don't wake up, we will drag you like Tiger Jam, we go cut the rope, then give it back to the motherfucking people. Ooh. From 1960, you been stealing from the people. Tell them. We can listen to our places, you know they see the stress. Don't you see the despair in the eyes of these youths? From 1960, you been stealing from the people, just what I said earlier. These old heads, these old politicians, they stay in power, there is amongst them. They don't want the youths to progress and then when the youths manifest or you know the reaction from that starvation of access to resources and a freedom of equality in society they start blaming us whereas if you gave us jobs if you gave us good health care if you gave us good roads good schools good security bro gen z's will not be my man this man is a politician man remember he said in uh, chukwe buka he talked about political swagger man you know they see the stress. You want leader, be? <laughs> then you got sit up. Red car, Canada, I want a jersey. No string, baggy jeans, I want jersey. Don't you see the Spain amongst the youth? You want to lead? You better sit up and listen to the youth. Give the youth what they want because we coming for that ish and we gonna grab it. They massacre, they blame it on Gen Z. Change government, Gen Z. We don't say we get print on Gen Z. We small fight, they go talk to a Gen Z. We the drug politicians, a Gen Z. Police know they carry IC, Gen Z. Why? We see laptop and cop the Gen Z. You the talk, we the talk back, Gen Z. Police don't want to see that. Any young guy, even if you're doing get money legitimately, they always trying to bring you some fire. I remember a YouTuber, Jude, man, big up to that YouTuber, man. They, 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 man, they almost ruined this guy's life, and he was making money genuinely. And it's a whole lot of young Nigerians making paper, but still the police people, man. Anyway. That's a strong and powerful message. I like this. This is dope. This is really, really nice. Uh, we don't get respect. We didn't talk their mind. I'm a 
Like I said, if you guys we know get respect with the tongue the mind. So because the youth are waking up, the sky has changed, the comment, people are waking up. And now they are angry. Everything they blamed, man, powerful. Have run the country to the ground. So you guys have taken away the hopes and dreams of the youth. You have made Nigeria a desolate land, a country of survival of the fittest. Words. You demand respect. You I just said it. I didn't even know this was part of the whole ish. I've not listened to this song, like, I started listening to the whole album, but this one, I'm not listening to it. But this is exactly what is happening, not just in Nigeria, across Africa. And then when the youth start reacting, they start blank pointing fingers. It's crazy, man. Demand respect when, when you go run them out of town. You guys always make a mockery of yourselves and a mockery of the nation. And the only people who make Nigeria proud are the youth. The youth facts. Football, sports, music, doctors, everything around the world. Yeah, the youth. You demand respect. But you lack accountability. Strong man. This is strong. This speech is from who, man? I like this. In Nigeria, proud and the youth. The children. Instead of you guys to fix Nigeria and hand us a legacy to continue and to uphold, during your time of opportunity, you ran the country to the ground, making it worse than it was before. And this is powerful. Fix the country, all these old heads in Africa who grab into power. I'm saying Africa because Nigeria is, is, is the biggest economy in Africa. And it is like a direct reflection around countries around Africa, man. Power struggle, insecurity, lack of job, lack of... In Nigeria, it is amplified. So in a country that has 20 million people, Nigeria has almost 180 million. Think about that. I mean, so do the right things, man. So the same foolish mindset. I'm not that out of touch with reality that I don't know that there are people who are suffering and that the main people who are suffering are the poor people and the youths of the nation. The main people suffering are the youths, man, of Africa. It's not just Nigeria, man. Big up and shout out. Just a powerful message. Go listen to it, man. I know some of you guys don't listen to such messages, but, man, this is tough. I would definitely say that this is one of the most insightful and really telling song in this project, man. Big up to the man, man. Yo, we gonna keep rocking, man. I hope you did hit that subscribe button, smash that like, man. Gen Z, we gotta rise up. African Gen Z, we gotta rise up, you feel me? We gotta take what is ours. We gotta kick all these old people out. I mean, accountability must be called for. I mean, we out of here.